hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? Big Porky here, the voice of hardcore boxing. And I hope you've subscribed as well or I'll be coming to pay you a visit. <laughs> Peter Fury and uh, don't forget to subscribe to Porky's Corner because I've been a helmet of the month and you need to listen to me. <laughs> yeah? So follow him, yeah? And get the fella some followers up for Christ's sake. He wears his hat on his sleeve, the good man was. So follow Porky's Corner, he says it as it is and uh, you know, I appreciate the helmet of the month, Russ. No problem. No problem, thank you very much. You're welcome, mate. <coughs> Hello all you hardcore boxing fans out there, how are you doing? Big Porky here, still the voice of our core boxing. Just on A1 here, pulled up, fill up. Got some front in there at them prices, haven't they? Uh, so it's all good. I'm just on my way to Manchester today to do some filming with Peter Fury and Yui Savannah. Probably gonna turn it into a little bit of a mini documentary, so a bit like the Josh Whale one, we'll jazz it up a little bit. And I'll get my team to do that. So I hope you enjoy it. Uh, we can only do our best, can't we? In the boxing industry, we can only do our best to strive for perfection. So. Got to try that a little bit harder, aren't you? You've got to listen to Eddie Hearn's speech on IFL. Eddie, uh, Eddie Hearn's motivational speech, which is why he did it, because he wants to go and do motivational speeches, probably. But, quite inspiring, so I thought, do you know what? I'm going to get up an hour earlier. I'm going to work an hour later for a month, see what happens. So thank you, Eduardo. Alright, so I hope you enjoy the documentary that we're going to put together. This is the first bit of it, obviously then it all gets pieced together and uh, it's all good. Alright, so enjoy. <laughs> Hey there lads, I'm joined by uh, Andy Aspinall, Frank Smith and Gary Booth who's uh, moving to a new gym aren't you Gary? Yeah. Is this one here? Manchester 31? Yeah. Where's that gym going to be in Gary? It's going to be in Partington. Partington, uh, exactly. Yeah. Manchester, yeah. It's, it's, it's a pavilion what the, uh, what the Paris Council have uh, given us. So, very grateful to Wayne, Wayne Edwards and Jason Bracegirdle for their, for their hard work. When, when do you move there, Gary? Well, we've given, been given a date of uh, about three weeks, so, yeah. The, well, I'm looking, for, looking forward to it. Some big hire vans going to be pulling up around here for all the stuff then. <laughs> yeah. Well, most of this gear, believe it or not, is going to France. Uh, yeah. My friends just bought a barn in France and uh, we're going to take the children out there at some point when we get settled in in Partington. So, you know, travelling is important for the kids, it gives them a bit of a life skill as well. Especially yeah. with the characters of what we yeah. I look about with. How long, how long have you been in boxing business, Gary? Good yeah. It's, uh, I was amateur. Uh, I was 14 years, 56 now. 14 years of age. Yeah. First having amateur fight. First fight and uh, turned pro. And um, 27 pro fights. Uh, enjoyed every bit of it. 
Yeah. If I knew now what I knew back then, yeah. different flavour. Um, but uh, I've got I got a lot of qualifications in in boxing after yeah. I finished boxing. If that makes sense. Yeah. Amateur and professional. My licence, manager's licence, trainer's licence. Yeah. Uh, level three amateur coach. So yeah. Oh good. Brilliant. And what fighters train train under your stable, Gary? <coughs> oh, I've had a few good ones. Uh, Ruben Grimwald, he won a world title. Uh, Joey Vegas, oh, yeah, there's, there's sons of them. Yeah. Uh, a kid called Ben Caps, um, he's an oceanic champion. Um, right from kids like Luke Evans, he's now 10 and 0, he's, he moved out, he left me at 6 and 0. Um, John Telford, he's, he's an good kid, he's boxing somewhere else, but um, yeah, we school him from scratch and then he, they get up and they get off. <laughs> Do you think boxing in this community like this here in Salford's a must for everybody, for all these kids coming to school from or leaving school now? Where, where we are, um, I mean, obviously, like it's, um, I don't have a sense of it, it's, it's before about it, about it uh, is, um, it's not a fighting town, it's rugby and football. However, we've had, since the 14 years I've been here, yeah. we've had um, national champions, uh, national finalists, semi finalists. Quarter finalists and we've done really well with the community. You know, we've been to Sweden, Holland, Czech Republic, we've been all over the show. Yeah. And, all, and, and obviously up and down the country. Almost every yeah. every every other town in the country we've been to. Oh, brilliant. Brilliant. And uh, you look obviously you're moving to your new gym and that and you is it gonna be a bigger place than this, Gary? No, it's downside. But um I'm more excited about going over because it's where I live. I've been yeah. coming over to Lurland for two or three years. Uh, two or three years, sorry. Two or three times a day. Yeah, two or three years. Tired. I've been working on this. Yeah, I've been working on the on the new gym. Um, so yeah, we're we're, we're going to stay in Lurland. It's going to yeah. be, be a little tiny boxing club. Uh, it's going to be a sister club to the satellite club to the one in Partington. Yeah. But that has to be going first before that. All our policies are in place. Yeah. For this one, that's near Dorby's. That side of Dorby's, lovely little road. No, oh, that's brilliant. And obviously you've got Peter and Ewan and Savannah training here now, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. And they all that all seem happy. Yeah, brilliant. Yeah, uh, he's looking Peter. well, isn't he? He's got absolutely fantastic. Yeah, nice and sharp. He's changed, he's changed a few, uh, he's changed a few, uh, the way he trains and etc. So obviously Peter's, uh, you know, giving, giving him the input and I help out every now and again. Savannah's the same. Two absolute top people. Mm. You, you wouldn't wish, you know, you wouldn't wish him any, any no trouble at all on this no, yeah. Not at all, no. They don't say much anyway, do they? It's very quiet yeah. both of them, aren't yeah. they? Yeah. I think they have to. <laughs> you know, Savannah does her talking in the ring, and you suppose you do, doesn't it? Don't, yeah. don't say anything, so yeah. that's good, isn't it? Don't bring no trouble to the door. No, not at all. <laughs> I bet you've had a bit of that here, haven't you? <laughs> Jesus Christ, yeah. <laughs> But, um, Parents are worse, 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 worse thing you can, but when they get involved, that's it, you, 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 you lost all. I've had kids here un, unbeaten and, and, the, and the parents just took them away. Yeah. Because they don't feel, feel the grass is green on the other side. But, you know, like Ireland is a like little island, you know, you're on the way. Yeah. But, uh, I, I've, had a, I've had a couple of, uh, a couple of kids left me uh, the other week um, on the basis that we're moving. But you know, I used to cycle like, in, um, I used to cycle like 35, 40 miles every day. Never. To get to his gym. You know what I mean? Right. Martin's the most side champ camp. And then we, then we moved to, uh, and I went to went Billy Graham to... Um, did you train at Billy Graham? I did, I was at the Phoenix camp, yeah. Yeah. I was there for a while, yeah. Yeah. You might know my boss then, Dennis Hobson. Oh, I know. <laughs> I don't know him well. Yeah, yeah. Well, I met his dad. Yeah. His dad died now, I guess. His dad. Oh, yeah, they died. They, froze. they had the body frozen. Really? In America, his body, so they find a cure, yeah. yeah. I don't know, yeah. Mad, isn't it? What did he die of? Cancer. Oh, the yeah. cancer one, it, Frank. Yeah. Cancer, yeah. The yeah. first person in England to have his body frozen. If you yeah. Google Dennis Hobson and then just yeah. put frozen, 
Uh, it tells you about it's, it's what's it called? Seba somewhere? Like Seba yeah. C C D B is it? C C no that's that oil in it. Oh is it? What are we on for it now? That's cannabis oil in it. No, the, when when your body's frozen. Oh it? yeah. Cryogenic. Cryogenic, that's oh, what it is, yeah. Yeah. Bring dead uh yeah, I've got money for it. <laughs> I met him a few times. Yeah, we're a bit of a character with his dad, weren't he? He, he spent yeah. a lot of time in Skegness, didn't he? Well, yeah, he had a caravan there, didn't he, Dennis? Yeah. Didn't see yeah. Yeah. yeah, he had a caravan. I've met him up there. His caravan, actually, went next door to his girlfriend. <laughs> Both fans. Obviously, used to have fallouts. Yeah. <laughs> a bit like me, keeping in the house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you but uh, yeah, so all right, then, mate. Well, I'll probably have a chat with you later on. All right. By Andy Aspinall, uh, trainer to uh, Tom Aspinall and what's the other one? Joe. Joe Aspinall. Which one of your lads does uh, UFC? Tom. It? Tom. Tom's yeah. the one. That yeah. Does. yeah. But he's had a couple of fights at boxing, hasn't he? He's had one, Russell. He's had one, yeah. yeah, yeah. He's, he's, is he yeah. coming up for his next one, yeah? For his, 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 no, he boxed here with Peter for a year. Yeah, yeah. And then he didn't, he didn't like the boxing. So he's going back to that match. So he just had that one fight. He knocked one, the kid out, didn't he? One boxing fight, yeah, knocked him out. Yeah. Mm. And when's his next UFC fight? Uh, this month, 21st, yeah. in London, the other two. Yeah, does, it, uh, does he have something to do with Darren Till or something? Same gym, yeah. Same yeah, gym and that, yeah. Oh, Trained together good. since they were about 16. Have they? So they'll, they'll know each other inside yeah, out, other. won't they? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so how many fights has Tom had with uh, UFC MMA sort of? He's had nine amateur fights, one of them all. Yeah. And he's had nine professional fights, one seven, got beaten one, 
At the end of that fight, he had kidney stones out of the hospital a couple of days. Yeah. And they got disqualified in one. And another, so... Yeah, so his good record's good. seven and one and one. Seven and one and one? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Or seven and two losses, but... One yeah, loss. yeah, one of the disqualification. Well, you disputed disqualification, Andy. There's no video evidence. Yeah. <laughs> so they yeah. said, no, he, he, he can't elbow this oh, way. He, he elbowed yeah, this way. They do, though, don't they? Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. just learning, isn't it? I saw him spar Tyson a couple of, a few yeah, years yeah, ago now. I think it was. Yeah. 2016 when he was about 20 odd stone yeah, wasn't he at yeah, the time yeah. probably about 27, 28 stone yeah, yeah. Tyson, yeah. I saw him spar Tom I think he sparred Conchina that day as well right, yeah. Yui as well yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. so he's, he's, he's sparred a lot of good people then hasn't he he, he, he liked the boxing he was just the he couldn't get a fight for a while and then he wanted to use his legs <laughs> yeah he likes to wrestle you know he teaches yeah. for a living so no, yeah, he yeah. Likes, he likes grappling. So. But he's tried it and he's got a win, so he's yeah, come yeah. out of it. He's still still far, it, can still he? He comes here all the time yeah. you know, to, yeah. to get rounds in and help, help you in, help, you know, he helps yeah. you as well. So. Yeah, that's brilliant. All right, well, uh, thanks very much, Andy, for that pleasure. channel. All the best, mate. Thanks, Russell. Cheers. I'm just joined by Tom Aspinall. Uh, I met you about three years ago with Dave Allen and Robin Reed, didn't I? You were sparring Tyson. That's right, yeah. At Peter's Jimmy Bol Bolton. Yeah. Con Sheen and you sparred Con, didn't you? you sparred Con. Yeah, yeah. How are you doing, Tom? I'm doing well. Nice to see you, mate. Just, uh, nice to see you. I'm just yeah. training for my fight in, uh, fighting in three and a half weeks in the old two in London, so just getting a bit of uh, extra prepping with the big boys down here. Just get any work that I can, do you know what I mean? Any heavyweight sparring in any discipline, I'll, I'll spar them. Just get whatever prep I can. Well, you're not going to get much better sparring than you, are you? You're an IBF world rank fighter, are you? So no, that's right. I've been sparring you a long time. I've been sparring yeah. you for like yeah, we've three, four years, years probably. Yeah. Maybe even a bit longer, maybe more like five years, but... Uh, yeah, good sparring all around, good sparring. I just was speaking to your dad, he tells me that you're a bit disillusioned with boxing and you're going to stick with UFC, MMA sort of... Yeah, that's right. Um, I, like, I like boxing and that. I love boxing, but ultimately I love MMA more. Yeah. There's just more to it, do you know what I mean? I feel like... Uh, I feel like I get bored with boxing eventually, even though I love it. Yeah. It's just punching, and because I spent so long doing like grappling and, and yeah. wrestling and stuff like that, I feel like all them years were, when I was just boxing, I feel like I just wasted all that that I got good at. So yeah. wanted to use what I've been practicing. Yeah. Uh, you've had one fight. You knocked him out, didn't you, at boxing? But you've gone back to UFC. When's your next fight with UFC? Uh, my next fight's in three and a half weeks on the 21st of March at the three. Altar in London. Oh, two in London. Yeah. Who are you fighting, do you know? I'm fighting an uh, American fella called Jake Collier. Is he any good? Yeah, he's good. Really good. He's had six UFC fights and this is my first one, so mm. he's, a, he's a veteran, but I think I've got what it takes to do it. Obviously, you've grown up with Don't you spar with Darren Till or yeah, you train yeah. him or something like that? You've grown yeah. up together, haven't you? Yeah, I've known Till for like plus 10 years. And is he doing well with UFC? He's doing really well. He's uh, he's knocking on for a title, really. So mm. one or two more wins away from the title. If not, his next fight, we've been talking about his next fight, fight yeah. for the title, so he's doing well. And how, how long do you think it'll be before you, you're it mixed with stuff like um, that, Tom? I don't know, five years. I want to be done me when I'm 35. Yeah. I want another nine, 10 years at it. Now, how old are you now, Tom? Uh, 26. 26? Yeah. So, uh, I reckon early 30s I'd like to be up there fighting for titles and then make a bit of money and then backdoor it then. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Do you think it's easy for young fighters to try boxing, try jiu-jitsu? Because you, you've done wrestling as well, haven't yeah, you, yeah. jiu-jitsu? And uh, obviously UFC, kickboxing. Do you think it's easy to fall into a trap where you can be not a specialist in one thing and um, you want to try everything? It's a bit different these days. So like when I first started, they still had like specialists. So it'd yeah. be like, you'd be a specialist, just a grappler. Mm. Even though you're allowed to punch as well. Yeah. You get a lot of people who could do a bit of punching and kicking, but then just grapple. But mm. now it's like all the amateurs and that coming through, they can they can do everything from a young age. You know, they talk properly. Yeah. To be able to, so it doesn't look like different disciplines. You know what I mean? It doesn't look like boxing and then wrestling yeah. and then jujitsu. It looks like all mixed together. You know what I mean? It just yeah. flows. It never used to look like that. Only in the last couple of years they've started. Uh, mm. Really, uh, they've re when you watch amateurs fight now, it's unbelievable how good they are, I think, in comparison to like 10 years ago. Yeah. It's a massive sport now, isn't it? Yeah. Do you think yeah. it'll get as big as boxing? Uh, I hope so. I think yeah. it will, especially with like McGregor and stuff, but still early days, sport's only 26 years old, so 
yeah. boxing's like hundreds of years old, if not thousands yeah. of years yeah. old, and it's old. Yeah. How many years? Yeah, I think it's about 130, 140, yeah. 50 years or something. Boxing, is it? I thought you were older than that. To be yeah, yeah, probably um, is. I should know that. Yeah, they must, have been, they must have been doing like a bare knuckle on that. I don't know. Yeah, but, they were doing bare knuckle, weren't they? John O'Sullivan days, weren't they? Or just about. What did they do then? Did they, well, wasn't John it? O'Sullivan the first one that. Well, Re re recognised champion, wasn't it? Yeah. And they were like, it was more stand up yeah, yeah. in them days, wasn't it? Is that, did they have like uh, rounds and that then? Or was it just open time limit? I think they did about. Uh, Peter will probably be Peter. Because okay, he's just going to say, you know, uh, John, you're back in all the days. What are you, uh, how many rounds did they win? 25 John O'Sullivan and all that. John O'Sullivan. Uh, John O'Sullivan. John O'Sullivan. John O'Sullivan. John Keep going. Keep going. Under the six. No rounds. <laughs> no rounds. No oh, Peter. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. So then. Have you seen that on the UFC? They have a thing. Uh, they brought it out recently. You might not know it if you're not a um, yeah, UFC. UFC fan, but they have, they have the title belts and that. They brought a new belt called the BMF belt. Have you seen it? No, I've not seen that. No, so really. BMF, bad motherfucker belt, it's called. That's, yeah. that's what they called it. Mm. And it's like two of the two of the people who will like fight anyone fight each other for the BMF yeah. title it's called. Oh. But what I think they should do with it is they should make it open weight and no time limit. That's what I think. Yeah. If you're a real BMF, like they say, they mm. should do it open weight and no time limit. That's what I think. You get people like uh, Isaac Lowe fighting Tyson Fury then, wouldn't you, and yeah, stuff like that? that. <laughs> if you've got real skill, yeah. real skill, yeah. you should be able to beat anyone at any weight, shouldn't you? Yeah. That, well, that's what like Jiu Jitsu and that's made for. Yeah. Because it's made for the smaller guy to beat the bigger guy. Yeah. So if, if you're really a BMF, like they say, they should, you should do open weight, I think. That'd be good. Yeah. But that's why in boxing we have weight divisions, don't we? Because yeah. they're, they're set there for a reason. Yeah. No, we have, weight, we have weight divisions as well. Yeah. You know what though? You know, mate, there's not enough weight divisions, I don't think. Seven yeah. kilo gap in between weights. It's a big, it's a big jump, that, isn't it? Yeah. In boxing, what, what's the weight differences? Between what weights? Just, just any weights. Uh, well, cruiser weight to heavy weight is 25 pounds. Sorry, light heavy to cruiser is 25 pounds, but is most it? of them are three pounds to seven pounds moving up, aren't they? It's got beginning. Like that, isn't it? 25. What's that? Yeah, from light heavy weight to cruiser, 25. Yeah. 12 kilo. Yeah, is that what it is? Yeah, but from 12, super 30. middle to light heavy is only seven pounds. Right. So it's a bit crazy, that isn't yeah, it? Yeah. They could have actually a light cruiser weight, couldn't they? So and a super cruiser. What would that be then, a light cruiser? Well, I have mentioned this on the channel, but Eddie Earn said, no, we don't want to do that. We're not going to go down that avenue. But I think you could go from 175 light heavy to 185 light cruiser, yeah. 192 cruiser, and then 200 super cruiser. And you split it up, and then anything over 14 stone 4, you're heavy, aren't you? Yeah. Because there's more opportunities there, isn't there, for like... Of course big, there is, yeah. Like the, the bigger lads, but not, not the giants. Exactly. Like the, the bigger lads. You get people like Nathan Cleverly, they're caught in middle, aren't they? He's a light heavyweight, yeah. but he ended up fighting Bellew at Cruiser. Right. But he weren't really a cruiser. Right. On the night, he did about £15 away. It's, uh, it's a big weight, that. Big yeah. weight, isn't it? Big yeah, of course jump. it is, yeah. It yeah. told on the night, didn't it? Yeah. When they fought at light heavy, they were no in it, but... Did they fight each other twice, them two? They fought each other twice, didn't Yeah, they fought each other twice, yeah. light heavyweight and then cruiser. So he won them two? Can't remember. Was he no, you lost the first one at yeah. light heavy and he won the second one at right. cruiser. Right, right. But that's a perfect scenario, yeah, yeah, two definitely. guys fighting in the wrong weight classes in two fights. Bell, you were never a light heavy, were he? Because it killed him to make 12-7. Yeah. His last fight were at 15 and a half, wasn't it? Is that what he made, 12-7? 12-7, yeah. He's a big fella, him. I've met him. He's a big fella, Tony, isn't he? Big, yeah. 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 But what do you weigh in at, uh, Tom? Uh, my weight fluctuates a lot. I like to be... I work in kilos, me, though. Mm, I like yeah. to be about... Um, what I am at the minute, about 112 kilos, but... Yeah. I don't know what it is in stone. Well, 100, 100 kilo is 16 stone uh, one. 100 kilo is 16 stone one, so 12 kilo, 25 pound. So you're probably about 18 stone, yeah, aren't you? Yeah, it's around about, about that, yeah. yeah. I can go up easy though, mate. I can easy, I can easy be heavy, but I think one of my uh, best attributes is my speed. I don't want to be slowing down. What's the lowest you can, can come down to? Uh, what me personally, or, or just yeah, the next weight? Yeah, you know your weight, what you feel safe at to box at all. Uh, about, about what I am really, maybe yeah. a little bit lower. If I go any lower, I lose my strength. I can go as low as, the weight, the, the light heavy weight is 92, 93 kilo. Mm. So, I can get down to 93, but I, I wouldn't go that low. You're heavier than when I last seen you. Am I? <laughs> yeah, I think you are, I'm a little bit, yeah. Been, <laughs> You're heavier and I'm lighter. I've lost a lot of weight recently, to be Have fair. Have you? Yeah, yeah. I was, uh, 
Because I put weight on dead easy, mate. I just uh, think I'm just... I'm just naturally heavy. You know, I don't, yeah. I don't like put weights and I don't eat a lot. Yeah. I eat quite a bit, but like a lot of heavy weights and that, they, eat, they have to eat loads to keep the weight on. Yeah. I don't, I think I'm just naturally, naturally yeah. heavy, I think. Like if I, if I don't train in that and I'm just eating whatever, I'll go to a, I'll go to 125 kilo, easy. Yeah. Easy, yeah. Not fat, just like chunky. Yeah, you know yeah, I mean? yeah. No, I'll be a bit fat, but I won't be like spilling out and that. Yeah, Chidillion white sauce. Yeah, like, just like yeah. Stock, thick, yeah. thick, yeah. <laughs> thick set. Yeah. yeah. All the noodles. Yeah. <laughs> Chips. Oh, Chips and so gravy. Uh, where do you see yourself two years from now, Tom? Two years from now, I see myself in the top 15. Yeah. Top 15 in the in world. In UFC, yeah. Yeah, possibly top 10. Have you got a management group behind you at the moment? Uh, I've just got my coaches. My coaches do all that kind of stuff, yeah. but they manage fighters as well. They've been doing mm. that for years, so... Um, the link with uh, MTK and stuff. Yeah, know, oh, that's um, all right so, then, yeah, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, me, me coach and that, and me dad, they've been like looking after fighters for like plus 20 years, so yeah. they know exactly what they're doing. Uh, so, in the next couple of years, I want to be like, don't want to be ready for a title shot just yet. I want to get a bit more experience before I get there. Yeah. I want to get there. So I want to be like top 10, top 15 in a couple of years, just like get more experience, more time in there, because I'm not that experienced. I'd yeah. like to uh, get more time in, in there in front of the, in front of the crowd and that. Alright, well, brilliant. Alright, well listen, I'll be, are you, is it on telly your fight? Yeah, we'll I'm going to watch BT it on Sport. telly, BT Sport. Yeah, BT Sport. So I'll be watching that in, on March the... 21st. March the 21st, Tom Aspinall at the O2 Arena in London on UFC or MMA, which one is it? UFC. UFC, UFC. on BT Sport. Get behind this kid, Tom Aspinall. Are you on social media, Tom? Yeah, you can get me on uh, Instagram. Instagram. Uh, Tom Aspinall 93. I Tom use Aspinall Facebook, 93. But Facebook's just like a personal. I don't have like yeah. a fan page or nothing. Are you not on Twitter? Used to, but I forgot the password, so. No. <laughs> <laughs> so Tom Aspinall 93 is your Instagram. Yeah. All right. Cheers, Tom. Cheers, mate. Thank you very much. I appreciate that. No problem. Hello, Yui. How are you doing? Nice Thank to you see you. Up. How you doing? Long time no see. Yeah. Looking well. Yeah, good. Oh, I've seen you a couple of months ago, didn't you, before you took Madley in Monaco. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You didn't get to fight him, did you? No, one of them what can you do, but it's uh, happening now, so... You were gutted as well, weren't you? Devastated. Too, uh, too long in camp and, uh, like I say, all that training before, but I suppose we just got to the gym and just improved even more, so it's going to be more exciting now. Yeah. And you've got the same kid, Pavel Sauer, on Mark 7th, haven't you? On yeah. Sky. Yeah, I've got the same kid there, uh, so I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to putting my show on for the fans. And especially being back out there, so it's going to be, uh, I want to enjoy it. And where's the fight at, Yui? It's in uh, hometown Manchester, so don't yeah. want you to travel too far this time. Yeah, that's alright, isn't it? Be packed out. Uh, Moving on, oh sorry, let's just let's back up a little bit because you've had a you've had some bad luck, you I think, since you've turned pro. Uh, you were flying at one point, really highly ranked, you got your world title shot and you got robbed against Parker, didn't you? Yeah, listen, like I say, yeah, I've had bad luck, but I don't put that I put all as a learning curve and yeah. like I say, well don't kill me strong in life yeah. and uh, a lot of them uh, things what I've been through would basically normal people would be retired by now and put yeah. uh, it to bed but like you say, we still believe I've got a very good team behind me. Uh, and listen, I believe I am right up there on top. And uh, yeah. like you say, I'm going to get there. Yeah, uh, when we were in Bulgaria, I was devastated when you got caught. But sometimes you've just got to roll the dice, haven't you? Because you got caught before fight, didn't you? We were cold, and then it opened up, didn't it? Yeah, like well, you take experience from that, won't you? Take experience, all learning and uh, achieving, isn't it? So, like you say, you got to take the take the bad with the good. Mm. Yeah, you're looking well though, you anyway. You're all tanned and that, and I'm definitely not tanned, but <laughs> well, you, you look look a bit brown. It's less my move because you got off. Yeah, <laughs> you not been away? Not been anyway yet. No. no. Well, and how's training going at the moment? Everything's going well. We've really got good sparring, different types, and uh, yeah, everything's going very well this camp. So we're just looking forward to now getting back in, uh, in the mix. And obviously, you're only 25 still, aren't you? Yeah, 25, and we've well, got to go. years left. Yeah. There's a lot of people who are. Uh, I think I saw some the other day, there's GB boxers who are looking to turn pro. Is it Fraser? They're 29, aren't they, in August and that? That's what I mean, the late you they are. Yeah. Boxing, you the harder really it's going to be, isn't it? Like you say, I've got the experience on my side and now, like you say, it's all coming together. Yeah. 
And what are you looking for this time next year, Lou? Are you going to be looking for a world title shot? Yeah, 100%, like I said, you get this year. There's no point talking about it. Yeah. Talking, and like I say, people see the difference and uh, get the fights in. Yeah, yeah. It's so what you want, but at the end of the day, I'm going to do it. Yeah, yeah. Well, you've got loads of experience now. Yeah, you sparred, you've been in with all the best at sparring, haven't you? Yeah. You already want British. Yeah. Already well, but you're still well ranked, aren't you? You ain't moment. Yeah, I don't really pay attention to all that. I just like yeah. to say, concentrate on the fights and um, who we're going to be fighting next. Yeah. Would you be interested in a fight with Pulev as a rematch down the line? 100%. It'd be nice to there. get that in England, wouldn't it? Yeah, all them fights, we're all ready to go, like you say, here. Pulev, Parker, the vet kid, and I want them all. Yeah. Them fights definitely want them again because. I say the only person I beat myself there and that was it. Yeah, brilliant. Alright then well all the best then anyway. Nice to see you. You too. You take care. I'm joined by Matthew Rennie. Matthew Rennie from Liverpool. Yeah. All I know about you, Matthew, is you're undefeated in five fights and you're 21 year old, light welter. Yeah. Yeah. I'm uh, boxing next on uh, the 14th of March in Liverpool at the Olympia on uh, Steve Woodville, VIP promotions. Yeah. Um, my opponent's been confirmed, I've got Paul Ducey. Um, don't know too much about him, he's Southport. Um, Durable opponent. He comes, yeah. to, he comes to have a good, uh, uh, you know, uh, scrap. So he comes, he comes to, uh, comes to win. So I've got to be on my yeah. game. Who's uh, headlining that show? Um, it's the cruiserweight bill. Um, James Farrell again. He's a Liverpool lad, a local lad. Against Damian Chambers. Yeah. Um, I think they're both with the IP. Yeah. It's going to be a good fight. I think uh, they've both got good KO ratio, so it's a good, it's a good main event. So Steve Wood's your manager then, is he? Yeah, yeah, I've been managed with Steve Wood, yeah. And, and your trained. trainer is? Yeah, Tommy Smith. Tommy Smith from yeah. Liverpool? From Sol yeah, Salisbury Boxing Club. From where? Salisbury. Salisbury, yeah. yeah. Where's that? In Liverpool. Oh, quite, it's in Liverpool, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. quite a famous, yeah. It's, it's been good for amateur. Like Rotunda and stuff yeah, like yeah, that, yeah. Yeah, yeah, good amateur pedigree, but they've turned over to pro now, so they've got pro oh. table and amateur, so... But there, with, with me, Nathan Corliss and Dexter, who's fighting on the same show with me, Dexter Mazaka, and play, Blaine Highland as well, so there's yeah. four, four pros in the gym. Yeah. And we've all, we've all got dates to, to train for, so... Oh, that's well. brilliant. That's brilliant. All right, well... How did you get into boxing? Uh, I started boxing when I was at the age of seven over in the Isle of Man. Yeah. Um, my, my older brother boxed as well, and my younger one does. So it was like a family thing where we just kind of, everyone got involved. And then as soon as I, as soon as I started boxing, I didn't, didn't look back. Um, and I've, I've been in it ever since I was seven years old. So long, long, many years now anyway. I'm 21 now, so. Yeah. Oh, that's brilliant. And uh, do you feel that, Boxing, it would probably keep you out of trouble. Yeah. Were you a bit of a tear away when you were young? When I was young, I just had a lot of energy to burn, yeah. if you know what I mean. So, and in the Isle of Man, there's not a lot to do. So, I got, I got into boxing, I was playing football as well. And then, I got to the point where I got 17, 18, I had to pick one or the other. It was either football, boxing. And I decided, decided to do boxing. And then I ended up moving up to England from the Isle of Man. And then I've been, been in Liverpool since doing boxing. So, this, oh. this is my passion, this is what I want to do. So. And uh, have you not fought, you obviously not fought for the title yet, have you now? No, but... no, it's just more, more like a. Uh, Showing my apprentice almost, you know, I'm just, just learning the, the new craft. I had a good amateur pedigree, yeah. so I'm hoping to continue that, that success in the amateurs into the professional game. Brilliant. Well, listen, all, all the best then. Have, have you got a, a Twitter handle? Yeah, or, so, so it's just it's Matthew Rennie on Twitter and on Instagram. Matthew um, Rennie on Twitter, yeah. and how do you spell Rennie? It's uh, R E W N I E, and it's got one T and a Matthew. Oh, right. So it's Matthew Rennie, Matthew with one T and Rennie as in like then what you get in your dish, yeah, isn't it? Yeah. They, call, they call me Gav, Gav's yeah. gone for a nickname. <laughs> <laughs> Alright though, if that's safe you want to get in touch with, with your Matthew and follow his career, yeah, all you hardcore fans, alright? Thank, thank, thank you. you. Right, cheers mate. Thanks for that cheers mate. No problem. I'm joined by Nathan. So how are we doing Nathan? Good yeah, just uh, yeah. finishing off sparring up with uh, Huey Fiori. Yeah, so how did it go? <laughs> it's been good, it's um, come down last week, um, got us back down, we were here for the, for the last camp as well. Um, so I've been here for a week and just finishing off with last week now, which um, you know, it's always a pleasure to be asked on and uh, you know getting get tips from Huey and from Peter as well. Yeah. He's rangy isn't he, Huey I know, yeah. he's got a lot more range on, on him than you aren't he? Yeah, um, we 
you know, it's, it's all good learning for me as well because, you know, if I can close the distance down with someone like you, who's very, um, you know, he's, he's a fast heavyweight, I can, I can do with the cruiserweights as well, so it's all um, it's leading up for, for my fight as well, so it's, uh, it's all going in good preparation. He's a, he's a box of tricks, isn't he? <laughs> yeah. So, uh, you, know, um, you know, they're teaching me stuff as well, which is, you know, it's, it's just brilliant. So. I saw you soaking it up with Peter yeah. back there, you're like a sponge, aren't you? Well, you've yeah. got to be, aren't you? Well, you've got to be, so, you know, I'm getting, getting tips off world-class trainers and world-class boxers, so I'd be a fool not to... Um, it's going to inspire you, yeah. I've so mm. got to keep, gotta keep learning, really, and yeah. keep progressing. What would you be doing if you weren't boxing? Um, I couldn't tell you. Probably getting in trouble. Uh, more than likely, yeah. Um, <laughs> I, I don't know, you know, yeah. you don't know what path, yeah. path can, can lead to another. But, uh, Where did you start boxing at, Nathan? In um, the Golden Gloves. In Liverpool? Yeah, um, I would have been maybe 13. Uh, just stopped playing footy. And um, I was just playing on the X, just in the house all the time, really, playing Xbox. Uh, as you do as a, as a young lad, it was my generation that really got into all that stuff. And it was my dad who came into my room one day and said, you know, you're not fucking sitting in here all day, every day. Uh, do you want to go back to footy or do you go to running or boxing? I just, you know, chose boxing. To, I've, I've done running in the past. Uh, and I've done footy, so I thought I'd give boxing a go. And it wasn't until maybe two years I really got into it then. And it became become like, I knew that I, uh, I loved the type of thing. Uh, and then I would, fifth, from 15 I went to the, the Solly and I've been there ever since. Uh, you know, I was one of the first Solly boxer to turn pro with the Solly. Uh, thanks, to, thanks to Tommy as well, who got it all. Is that where you're fighting out of the now, the yeah, Solly in Liverpool? Yeah. So, um, How many other fighters does Tommy train? Um, Matthew Rennie and yeah. uh, Dexter McCarthy just turned over as well. Yeah. Um, Adam Farrell was with us but he's, uh, he's retired now so... Um, no, it's, we're all learning and we're all, we're all doing well so and hopefully we're successful as well. You probably, if, you, if you're 6-0 oh now, you could be... You might be two a year from a title fight then. Yeah. You think, um, is that what you think you might be? Get this year out of the way, keep playing and keep obviously keep winning and Mr with the main important yeah. thing, but maybe next year, may, maybe mid next year, maybe start looking at titles, whether it's English title and then British. Yeah. Um, just do it the do it the right way rather than rush into things which is what a lot of boxers do. Yeah. Um, you only get one chance you only get one chance at the sport so if you do it right, you're yeah. going to be successful. Yeah, all right, well, listen, how old are you now, Nathan? Yeah, 24. 24, you've got plenty of time in your All the best. And how can people get in touch with you on social media? Um, just me Instagram, really. Instagram, uh, what's that? Nathan Qual at Nathan Qualis. Nathan Qualis on Instagram. Yeah, that's, that's brilliant. It. Thanks very much. Thank you very much. Good, mate. Hello, Peter, how are you doing? Not seen you for a couple of months. Good to see you, nice. Russ. You alright? Yeah. You've got a bone to pick with me, haven't you? <laughs> yeah, I don't know if it's good to see you or not. Uh, <laughs> Elmy to the month, Frank, you put yeah. me on. Oh. <laughs> it's a good job I've got good sense of humour for you, I'll tell you that now. Because <laughs> this man, he can come and be nice and then hound you to death. <laughs> There's one good thing though, Russ, people know you're not biased, you'll attack anybody, won't you? Yeah. <laughs> well, there you are. Yeah. Am I on mid to the month this month? No, you're not, though. No, okay, no, that's no. alright then. No, yeah. you had one vote. <laughs> <laughs> we do another one as well, which I picked myself, that's called Weapon of the Week. And, uh, <laughs> Who's the Weapon of the Week? Then? Adam Smith just won it this no, week. No. We're going out to Las Vegas because it went out to the Wii. Match him and Sky, was it? So I had to put him in weapons as well. But anyway, uh, how are you doing, Peter? It's glad to say I'm not the only one getting it then. <laughs> yeah. No, I'm good. So everybody's uh, working hard. Yeah. I'm good. Yeah. You ain't looking well. Yes. He looking good. Yeah. He's, uh, I'm impressed, actually. Good. Yeah. He's yeah. only got this. Is um, this is his? What is it? He sparred this morning now. Um, he's got one left uh, Friday morning, and that's it. So he's already tapering down. He's doing. He's down to six rounds sparring. So he's uh, yeah tapering off. Good spar this morning, now. Yeah, he's doing what? Well. Cracking spar. Yeah. 
Peter, what's that? Looking yeah. forward now to getting uh, night to seventh and get the show on the road again. Get that out of the way and then... Exactly. Now, obviously, you returned pro at 18, world amateur gold, we all, we all know that. Had a bit of bad luck though, Peter, on, on his journey, hadn't he? I don't believe you've got any bad luck. I think uh, all, all carves out your nature. This is a hard game. Yeah. You've got to grow into it. Not natural to be pushed up and down the head, is it? So you, no. All these things will benefit him in the end. Yeah. All the adversities do what? You're either going to cave in, yeah? Yeah. Or you're going to, you're going to rise to the top, aren't you? All character building. Yeah. Yeah. Do you think that Yui beating Redenko at a young age damaged him moving forward for getting matched? No? You just think that's how it goes, do you think? Yeah. Look, I do things obviously a lot different to other people, and people do different things to what I do. Yeah. But with him, he's always had good ability. Yeah. Yeah. And he's tough as well. Yeah. So I can put him in these fights being young. Yeah. Because I know he ain't going to get dragged off the canvas. Yeah. Even if he loses them, he's learning. You know, you can only do what you're going to do. And, all, and the, the fights he's had have been vital. They've not been too early. They've been the right type of fight at the right time. He just hasn't come through because of what he's... He needs to improve himself. Yeah. And he has improved, and you'll see that on, uh, yeah. on March the 7th. We've only got less than, well, just over a week yeah. to go. Yeah, he's uh, looking very sharp. Um, yeah. Looks like he's eating the pro proper food as well. Yeah. <laughs> Can we talk about my little prodigy here? Yeah, yeah. Uh, what, yeah. What, what's your first name? This Jimmy. James Dean, yeah? James Dean. Shut up. James. I'm talking. Yeah. Yeah, I'll, I'll tell you what your name is. <laughs> right. right then. He is, yeah. He is my brother Jimmy's grandson, who sadly passed away recently. He is a talented young kid at the JD. And he's a good boy as well. So he's going to do good things in boxing. He's had eight or nine amateur fights. He fights again on Sunday. He's been with me. Uh, well, a couple of months, is it? Yeah. And he's already had two amateur fights. He's having his third, he's in the championships. So we're going to get him really busy. Yeah. So he's the next one going to come through, he is. So this is the next one of the Team Fury clan to come through, Frank. That's the one. Yeah. Yeah. Well, don't know how old he is, Jimmy. 14. 14, so you've still got a few years left as an amateur yeah. to polish your skills up, haven't you? Yeah. Are you enjoying it? Yeah, loving it. And how do you like the discipline? You like it? Yeah. 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 And he, he, that's brilliant. Uh, and how many amateur fights you've had nine, haven't you? And how many? You've had eight. You've had eight, eight so eight. this is your ninth. This. Yeah. Uh, where's that going to be at? That's going to be in uh, Stockport. Stockport? Yeah. yeah. Where, where about in Stockport? Uh, Ashton. Ashton, yeah. Mm -hmm. and what, this weekend? Uh, yeah, Sunday. Sunday? Oh, brilliant. We are here at, what's it called? Gaines Health Kitchen. Yeah. And that's uh, this here, yeah? Yeah. And this is built onto the where there's good yeah, rugby lads. Stadium, yeah. Sharks, is it? So, uh, Salford Reds. Salford Reds. And obviously, you've got world ranked fighters like you and Savannah coming in here all the time, aren't you? All yeah? the time, mate. And all the food's Looking really after. healthy, isn't it? Yeah. Anything you need here. <laughs> Unbelievable. Really, uh, unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> I've got, I've got, there's Mackies down the road, isn't there? Uh, you want to take selfies, though? You can pass that, I reckon, just to get here. Sorry? Commitment, mate. Whoa. Commitment. <laughs> but, uh, so, the, the, the menu here is basically all healthy, isn't it? Yeah. A lot of vegan yeah. stuff you do, don't you? Yeah, we do all sorts, all options. Vegan, yeah. vegetarian. Fish and all that. Like fish, pescatarian, you name nice. it, we do it. So, we we'll try and cater for everybody. So if anyone wants an alpha meal, they come to this place here at Salford. Gaines Kitchen, yeah. Gaines Kitchen at Salford. Thank you very much for watching what's your name? Andy. Andy. Neil. Andy and Neil at Gaines Kitchen at Salford. Cheers, Thank nice you, Who do you think is uh, the main outfit at the moment in boxing, Peter? Or do you think there's a few groups, a few of them, main outfit? 
think it's good, it's like anything else, competition's good. Yeah. Whether it be fighters, whether it be promoters, whatever. Competition is good. Because without competition, there's no people get to do what they want and start monopolizing things. So, you know, there is no biggest hitters, there's no anything. Everybody in their own right is good at what they do, isn't it? Yeah. If they didn't, it wouldn't be in the sport, would they? The last one is Cool. You can you, one minute you can be cock of the walk and then something can happen in boxing and then you're down there again, aren't you, within days. It's just things happen don't you? Experience things. Nothing's promised to you, is it? Pardon? Nothing's promised to you, is it? No, it isn't. Uh, there can be school dug in behind the scenes and everything can spoil everything, can't it? But uh, Life, isn't it? Yeah. At the moment, though, boxing in the UK is the place to be, isn't it? But the fights don't seem to be big fights. They all seem to be abroad now, don't they? So, listen, that's promoters. It's wherever you fight, wherever the most money is, don't you? Yeah. You know, if you're gonna make millions more. Fighters need to take the millions more, don't they? Yeah. They've got a short yeah. career, haven't they? Yeah, yeah. So, you know, anything can happen in a boxing ring. So you've got to get the most money you can get for that fight, haven't you? Yeah. Wherever yeah. it is. Yeah. yeah. Uh, how did you feel when you went to Saudi with you? Did you enjoy it? It was good. It was, um, I'm not a big fan of being abroad, to be honest. Yeah. Obviously, fight anywhere. Yeah. I've always been like that. But um, for me, it was an experience, but I like being uh, home if we can. Yeah, yeah. I don't like planes anyway. I'm not keen on not flights. Airplanes, no. Not really. You didn't look too happy when we were on that plane when you were back from Bulgaria and supposed to get off it, didn't you? Yeah, I'd... I'm not, uh, I'm not a good flyer for sure. Yeah. Put up with it because you got to part yeah. of life, haven't you? Yeah. I'd rather be, I'd rather keep your feet on the tarmac. Yeah, yeah. And uh, is there any names in frame for this summer for you? You know, after this fight, next his next fight. Would there's any fights that you like? I'm very happy with uh, Yui. Uh, like I said, he's coming into his own. Now. He's 25. Yeah. And I believe he's turned the corner properly. So I'm looking yeah. forward now to um, seventh of March with him. And then when we get that, that book, we just look in whatever fights he can make. You know, after that, yeah. see how this goes. See how this goes on March seventh. Yeah. And the um, <coughs> main thing is is to get you at least three fights this year. Yeah. You know, and put him back in put, put him back in a pole position or in a mean, in a meaningful fight. You know, yeah. don't forget what I've always said from day one. I've never changed my attitude. I've never changed what I believe in. It's the same. I don't go with the tide. Whatever you get from me, you get from day one to now. It's the same. If you're good enough, you'll make it. Yeah. Forget who stepping stones. If you're good enough, you'll make it. The good thing with you, he's been in the top fighters already. He knows what it's like. So like I said, you know, he's been it with punches, you know, Povetkin, you couldn't call him a poor puncher, could you? So took everything Povetkin had. He takes a lot of boxes, so now I'm just looking forward um, for him to show him people exactly what he's got. Well, that came with top five in Wales at the time, wasn't he, when he fought you in? You'd have to say, wouldn't you? Yeah, he's ranked number five, yeah. Yeah, so you'd have to say. Former Olympic gold, former world champion. Good fighters, aren't they, you know? Well, they've been beaten by Vladimir, haven't they, at the yeah. time? Will gold. Will gold. Will gold, it was. Will gold. No, he won an Olympic gold, didn't he? He did. He won an Olympic gold, didn't he, 19... Uh, he had, two, uh, he had 200 in that amateur flight with that kid. Listen, yeah. he's a good man, but I just think now he's, he's getting a bit worn, getting old. Yeah. Even when he boxed Huey in the later rounds, you can see he was very, very tired. Hanging on. You know, he was. He was exhausted himself, yeah. struggling. Even again when he fought with uh, Hunter the other day, he struggled with the late rounds yeah. again. So I think if I think somebody like Dillian White can pace the rounds well, I think in the second half of the fight, the perfect kid's going to have problems. We'll be looking to get to the end penalty. Is that a fight that you'd take in a heartbeat a perfect rematch in England, Peter? Of course we would, yeah. Yeah, a bit. 
yeah. be a good chief to follow that for the pay per view, wouldn't it? Yeah, you know, for Vecchi, he's a businessman, so when he's fought Dillian White, should he come up short there? And then you can have another, maybe some other fight for him in Newey. Yeah, yeah, unfinished business. Yeah, just get back in. Be like the cool if he has to fight Joshua in June and he gets beat, you will fight him in a rematch, won't he? 100% he will. Yeah. Whatever we can get. But we can't say we'll take these fights because it's up to them if they want to take them or not. It's got to be viable for them. But if it is, you will definitely take them for sure. Yeah. Yeah. How do you see women's game progressing at the moment? Because there's a few world champions now in England, isn't there, with women? There is. I think women's boxing is uh, it's getting right up there with men's boxing. I think within the next couple of years, you know, two, three year max, even the pay is going to be the same. I think there's, uh, there's not only going to be the recognition, but they're going to start getting the same money as the, as the, as the males get. Do you think they might up the rounds from two minutes to three minutes as well? I think they should be, yeah. Yeah. You know, for me, look, Savannah, I don't spar two rounds, uh, two minutes. Yeah. It's how much boxing stuff. She spars three minute rounds. She does it easy as well, doesn't she? Yeah, she? Three minute rounds and she spars fellas, so like I said. Yeah. <laughs> there's not many women, is there, when you, when you come to the corner, you're wiping the blood from the lips and the nose. So she has hard spars. Yeah. When she comes to the corner, I see the blood coming out, I think, you know, automatically when I look at that, I think to myself, if ever a dad seen this, yeah. <laughs> it's great. This, yeah. is a, this, this is a sport of boxing. So, it, you know, women can dig deep. You know, you look at the Taylor, Katie Taylor, yeah. how good she is. She can have a proper fight. Yeah. Women, it's proven, isn't it? They can do what men can do. Yeah. Probably a little bit cleverer than men, to be honest with you. Because <laughs> all of us married men end up working for the wives, don't we? Yeah. So, yeah. so you've got to ask yourself who's got the brains of the outfit. Very well. Yeah. yeah, she's from the same village as me. Our next village next to me, yeah. I see a lot of world champions coming from this country in women's boxing around here. As well. But she's a world champion. She's young as well. So she'll get better. Yeah. So it's we'll Savannah next month. Yeah. Katie Taylor. I think that other girl, Chantelle Cameron, I think she wins the world title as well. Yeah, I know Chantelle. She's a good fighter as well. Nice girl. And she should, she should do well. Yeah, Nicola Adams has already won one, that's five, isn't it? But all of them are from Team GB, I'm not sure if Terry Harper were, I'm not sure, I think she might have been. She didn't go to Olympics, but... So they've already got an head start on a lot of people, haven't they? So... Yeah. Good to see you. Good to see you, my friend, okay? Yeah? Yeah, keeping fit as always. Did you do some modelling? Huh? Did you do some modelling? Look like a model. <laughs> Get modeled. Come here and see you. Alright, alright, yeah, you're good. Hi Russell, you alright, mate? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, so women's boxing is booming at the moment. Uh, <laughs> it is. Yeah, it is. Uh, so we're going to get this fight out of the way with you, Imar, yeah. then Savannah's. And then it's summer, isn't it? Yeah. They're both being big fights this summer. Yeah. Look, things are flying for you, aren't they? And you're obviously you're moving to a new gym, aren't you? Partington, is it? Man Manchester 31? Yeah, Gary Boo's got a new gym in Partington, so we're going to relocate Three there. weeks. Three, three weeks, yeah. So, it's so he's been a, let me tell you, Gary Boo's been a big help to us. He's a nice yeah. fella. Known him for 30 years anyway. Yeah. It's a long time. You go way back with him, Peter. Yeah. Yeah, we all know each other here. So basically, he's a, a nice fella. Where's his heart to leave, and he does his best as well. Yeah, he's been a tremendous guy, Gary. Gary Booth. Organizing sparring, you know, used to gym and stuff. You know, just wanted to be known. Very appreciative to Gary. Yeah. What happened to your other gym, Peter? You know, was there somebody in that now? Yeah, it was uh, a little bit too far for me. Yeah, yeah. Time I drove up, time I drove back, you know. It took a bit out of the way. Had to, sometimes when I was up there, I had to stay there all day. And I've got other business interests. Yeah. So it's a little bit, you know, although it doesn't seem far, yeah. when you look at it, it's two hours every yeah. day. Yeah. So that's the reason, just location is why yeah. I got rid of it. It's better for you, is it? Yeah, because I've got businesses here and stuff. 
course, and it's ideal. Brilliant. All right, then. Well, thanks for having me. Nice to see you. And you must. Nice to see you, see you Jimmy. I'll keep an eye out for you. Yeah. All right, my friend. You take care. Oh, well, I enjoyed that. Uh, I should be going back to uh, get Savannah on at four o'clock, but I've got I've got some I've got an emergency just come up. So what Someone's I'm gonna turned to up do, and I've got to go. <laughs> but what I'll do, I'll get Savannah on the phone later and we'll piece it in that way. But how did you think it went, Frank? All right. I think it went well. Didn't a nice, good bit of a spar in there. You, he looks well, doesn't he? It looks all right. Yeah. Tom Aspinall, he looks sharp as well. Yeah. Young Joe Aspinall, he was there. He just looks like he can have a rumble, that Tom Aspinall, doesn't he? Ooh, not half. Hey? Not half. I can't believe how lean you he looks, can you? You eh? You eh? As... He's changed quite a lot now. Even in his persona, he's different, isn't he? Know, now, isn't he? he looks more, more assertive, he speaks, he yeah. speaks more. Because he's a quiet kid anyway, isn't he? He's very relaxed, he looks very relaxed when he's... Very confident, isn't he? Yeah, he is. I've not he's... seen him like that, you know, ever. Yeah, well, it's his time, isn't it? His time will come around. He's still only a young, young fella, isn't he? Yeah. Don't that, forget, you is like 25, isn't he, right? Yeah. People are going to make comparisons to him and Tyson all his life, but he's well, six years younger than Tyson, isn't he? Yeah. Yeah. Now, he Tyson is. weren't a world champion at 25, were he? No. He was only British, wasn't he, at 25? Yeah, you is, you is time has come. Man. I hope it is. I hope so, anyway. I know there's a lot of people say this and that. He doesn't throw his right and doesn't do this. Well, we'll see in the next year, won't we, what happens. Yeah. So that's it. On our way home now. Yeah, I thought uh, I thought it went well. Uh, I think he's come to a conclusion now that there's going to be obstacles in way with how they've been matching Newey, because the matchmaking has been brave last couple of years, hasn't it? Yeah. For, for yeah, the, yeah, to yeah, say he's yeah. a young lad, isn't it? Yeah. Now, I thought I, I thought you might have got a slap off, off Peter as well for, for putting on that he was helmet of the month, but... <laughs> He took it well, I must admit. Yeah. I thought, you're getting, it, you're getting an ear, ear crack here off him. I thought no, get he on, was no. happy, he was alright, he was alright with it. He's alright, innit, we get on, though. Yeah, that's it, innit. You get on well with him. Well, he yeah, likes you, he likes you because you're very truthful at what you do. What it is, right, remember when we first started knocking up, when I first started going round a few years ago, about three or four years ago, he just to just be honest and that, and don't be that's the main out thing, your isn't face it? up, you know what I mean? But, uh, yeah. Yeah. It is alright. But well, the main thing is with Yui, he looks a different person, I think. Well, there you go. I've watched, I've watched Ungers around with, with Yui, and no one ever hurts him. I don't see people hurting him, ever. Yeah. It doesn't bother him. You'll remember him when he first turned pro, because you've be, obviously known Peter all your life, haven't yeah. you? So. Yeah. All his life. <laughs> all his life, yeah. Because yeah, you're older than him. My, my life's on his way out. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah I have. A, you, you is, I've always known you is, since he was a little boy. And I used to see him with the gloves on then. And Peter used to put the gloves on him. And put the gloves on the other kids as well, which are a lot older. And his girls. And they used to knock shit of him. But, what, at UA? Yeah, at UA. But, he always come back and always stood up. And I used to say to Peter, I said, you, you see him there, he's going to be a killer. Him. He's, he's deadly. He's, he's got the art of a lion, Yui. Without, without a shadow of a doubt. Without Wait, do you know Yui's never been dropped in a fight? No. Never been down once? No. no. Never been down once? I think that's brilliant. Thank you. Good. Like I said to you, I've watched hundreds of rounds with him. Never seen him hurt. Yeah. Never seen him hurt. But there you yeah. go. Anyway. So just let some things start. I think he just needs a bit of good luck, doesn't he? He's had a, he has had a he has had some bad luck. That Parker yeah. fight, I thought he won that. Well there you go. Bad cut against Pula. I thought Pavetkin beat him, I thought he old man him. It's gone the same way, hasn't it? Like Tyson it was the same with Tyson, wasn't it? He never got proper recognition and things like that. Yeah. I knew he's been the same, but he will come good, I'm sure he will. And do you know what? You know what should really give them something to shout about or scream about? Yeah. Yui and Tyson have never not got a criminal record, they've never been in trouble. They haven't, no. And you've got Joshua there, we're out filling people in and uh, serving drugs up. Yeah. And 
got locked up in jail on remand and got community service. But yeah, uh, he's like the Messiah and they treat Tyson like a, a leper when he beat Vladimir, didn't they? Well, there you go. Are you, not, are, you, are you not all that keen on the on Joshua? Or what? I'm not a big Joshua fan though no. because I know people turn their lives around, don't they? Yeah. But when yeah. you're not allowed to ask them questions, certain questions, that well, this is what what they hide Yeah, there you go. So I have a problem with that. But the mini documentary is obviously about boxing over this end, and I think that Huey looks all right. I'm happy. Yeah. They go into a new gym, aren't they? Yeah. He's done well from that Gary Booth. Hasn't Gary Booth, he? yeah, he's got a new gym opening at Partington. That'll be all right. So they've done well. So all right then. So I'll just piece this. Get uh, my man to piece this in. And thanks very much, Frank. Okay, mate. You're okay, welcome. Mate. Hello, all you hardcore boxing fans out there. How you doing? Big porky here. And still. And still. Uh, I just. Uh, Stick some fuel in. We'll uh, do the do. There's some light in here. That should do it. Got a lot of lighting, haven't we? So you can get a better. There's something about filling up your car, isn't there? And you always said, you know what? I'm going to go steady in my car now I've filled it up. And I'm going to get loads to the gallon. You get two miles down that road, and before you know where you are, you're burning rubber. Look at that. Go on, love. You're all right. There you go. All your people will keep telling tales about my driving. Right, I'm going to... I'm going to give Savannah Marshall a ring now. And let's have a chat. I just missed her yesterday by by minutes, but I had to be in two different places at the same time. Savalo S S Savannah. Right, here we go. Let's see if we can get the silent assassin. Welcome to the EE -E voice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's good, isn't it? Story of my life. After you finish your message, just hang up. Or to hear more options, please press 1. Hello? Hello? Can you hear me? She just tried to ring me back. Hello, are you there? Savannah? Oops. Not very good that is it. Let me try again. Let's try again. Have a look. Sa S. Here we go. S. This should do it. Shut this as we car wash. Alright, girl. <laughs> How are you? Yeah, <laughs> you alright? Yeah. Oh, I just missed you yesterday. I had to get back, but listen, how did your sparring go? Oh, roughly ended up doing 11 three minute rounds. 11 three minute rounds, so basically this girl's not going to know what's going to hit her, is it? <laughs> Was that a good pace as well? To be honest, I kind of died off after around about eight, but I got them out. It was more for like the conditioning type thing. Yeah, yeah, so you can say, yeah, so. And this is what you're fighting, is it 12 twos? Ten. ten. Sorry, sorry, ten twos, isn't it? Yeah, so that's twenty. Ten twos, yeah. So you'll be all right then. Eleven threes. Oh, you'll be more than ready, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. And obviously, this girl, she's a bit older than you, isn't she? Yeah, she is, but it's, 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 a, it's a good step. She, she's an active champion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you know what I mean? And I think with what I've learned with the women, the women don't really seem to, like, there's a lot of champions around about mid-thirties in the women. Yeah. Whereas obviously with the men, that's when they're like, they pass their peak, aren't they? But for the yeah. women, it seems to be a different, uh, a different, like, thought. Yeah. And your training's going well, is it? Yeah, but pretty tough at the minute. I'm like, five weeks ago, my body's working, I'm constantly tired, so it's at that point. Yeah, that's, yeah, you... Where you just want to get your session done and get out of there. <laughs> yeah. 
But other than that, you're, you're happy, aren't you? Yeah, I'm close. I'm glad that I'm getting the place. Yeah, are, uh, are you happy living in Manchester? You've got a flat now, haven't you, there? Yeah, I love it. I, uh, I've got Chantel, Chantel, don't I? You and Chantel Cameron got a flat together. Oh, so you're yeah. half at Bills then, isn't it? Yeah, we've got careful. You've ke right. You're careful with money you, Savannah, aren't you? <laughs> you're not daft, are you? Well, good luck to you, I mean. If you get that this belt, you'll probably make more money out of sponsorship than you will out at fighting, won't you, I suppose? Well, I hope so. Um, yeah. I hope so. Well, it's about time you had some luck in it in that department, because with Katie Taylor hogging everything, you, you, you're juicing, aren't you? She's not going to be around forever, is she? Nah, apparently I had a room. She's only got two more fights and then she's retiring. Yeah, well, that's good news for you and all other girls coming through, isn't it? Yeah, you know, there's, yeah. There's you, isn't there? There's... Chantel, Terry Harper, they're all doing well. Yeah. Nikki Adams, has she retired now, yeah? Yeah, she's retired, Nikki, now. She's about 40 anyway, isn't she? Yeah, she is, with her. Yeah, so, I'm pleased for you. And are you gonna, are you gonna feel moving up to light anyway? Are you, are you feeling a bit stronger than that? Well, to be fair, she's only five foot six, this girl. Oof. She um she only has a weight in about 78, 77 kilos. So it's not like she's a big light heavy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So if anything, I'm just gonna weigh in what I normally weigh her. So I'm not I'm not going big or anything like that. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. That that's good. I'm really pleased for you because I feel, I was worried I was worried that you were gonna miss out because you you are quiet, aren't you? And a lot of people might think that you don't say controversial things or you don't you don't go to all after parties and hang, hang around that kind of scene do you no you just do your training and your fighting and you go home don't you yeah a lot of people seem to get involved and that they seem to feel that they have to be seen at certain places and that bit you've never been one of them and i, and I, I were worried that that might harm you but you've he's done well Eddie Earn to get you the I know I gave him some stick but he's done well to get you the they're just washing me car now. <laughs> uh, the, he's done well to get you that opportunity but I thought some of them other girls didn't want to fight you. Do you know what middle and super middle? Well um I know that Eddie had done an interview with a reporter that I knew. Yeah. At the press conference, and Eddie had turned around and said that he, he tried to get me, you know, like a good fight at Silver Middle, but they didn't want to know. But yeah. I kind of I've learned that with a female boxer, you could be a mandatory, and it doesn't mean anything. Yeah. The, the, with with the women, it's very like political. Yeah. And it's it's one shit like one shit in, you're in, and the, but at the minute, I've I've got. I'm a lot of risk with no reward. I haven't yeah. got a world title. I haven't. So really, this could be just like me getting my foot in the door because otherwise, like I said there, people don't have to fight you, and if they don't want to know, then they don't want to know. Yeah, but what's going to happen after you knock this girl out? How are you going to get any f defenses? Because there's only twelve in the division, isn't there, in the world? Well, I'm going to come back down to the middle. Is that why you're not going to put a lot of weight on? Yeah, and what about Clarissa? Where where does she fit into all this Clarissa Shields? Well, uh, Clarissa's moved right now to Super Welter, but um, Clarissa Super Welter. Yeah, and she's moved right now to Super Welter, but she was she was telling me that she she's keeping her belt at middle, so. Well, you're never going to be able to do 11 stone, are you? No, but I could do middle. You can do 11 six? Yeah. Yeah, and can you do that comfortably, Sabana, as well, yeah? Yeah, I can, yeah. Yeah, and you know, if you and Clarissa fought at 11 stone six, what would you do to her? <laughs> <laughs> You'll have to wait and see. We'll have to wait and see. No predictions then. No yeah. no clickbaiting titles for me. <laughs> no, I'm going to slip this into that, that filming that I did yesterday with Peter and Yui and all them lads in Jim and that. I'll slip this in. You'll have to send me a picture because I'm going to have to put a, a, a picture up so they know it's you. It's going to say something like Savannah on the phone. <laughs> 
Well, I'm a picture of you with your phone to your ear, you know, like a cartoonist or something. Uh, yeah. So I've got this company now that I'm working with now, and we're playing about with all sorts of stuff with channel, and it's going in the right direction, so we're going to jazz it up a bit. So I'm going to do all editing on Monday, because there's some stuff, obviously, I've got to take out from yesterday. The sparring, some of the sparring stuff for you that uh, they don't want out. And uh, so I'm gonna, we're gonna do that on Monday, but uh, Monday one o'clock, and I'll we'll slip this in. So if you send me a, send me one of your best Sunday best pictures, Savannah. Of, uh... I will, I will. <laughs> what do you think about what do you think about Yui's new style? I think, uh, I think I'm not gonna say too much because he told he told me not, not to say too much about it. But I will, I do think that. I were impressed. I were impressed actually. And Yui seems to have a bit of edge about him now, doesn't he? Yeah. He, he seems he, he seems to be not going out of his way to be nice to people. He's got a bit of spite about him. I know people have said this before and that, but I saw something different in him. You will see it because you're training with him every day, aren't you? Yeah, well, I think it's the start of some better. Yeah. Yeah, I, I mean, in fact, Peter rung me up, he's probably told you this anyway, he rung me up this morning about quarter past eight. He, I, got, I had a missed call for him last night uh, ten to nine, to nine forty-seven, ten to ten nearly. I will sock on because obviously I left, I left home really early yesterday. But, and he rung me this morning and he said, what do you think? And I just, I'm not an expert, right, but, you know, I've never, I've never had a professional fight in my life, but... I think that he, he, well, he did look different when I were in there. I thought, what's, what, what are we doing here? And that's why we didn't want, obviously, all, all the filming. They don't want all the filming put out. But I was impressed, and, and I think that he's going to shock some people. And I think it's what you needs now because that style can harm him. That old style can. He can always go back to that, but that can harm you because it's entertainment as well, isn't it? Yeah, I know. Uh, and, it, and, it, and he is very hard to eat. Don't forget, he's never been down, you know. He's never I been know, dropped, yeah. has he? And Tyson had not been dropped with Peter in the corner. So, I, I think that now he's adding other things to his game, I think I think he's going to look real. I think he's going to do well. And I'm glad for Yui as well, because he takes so much stick. And he never fires back or anything, because he's quiet, isn't he? He's yeah. had so many hurtful things said. And I think, you know, people should get behind him. Don't forget, we've seen you in there with world-class fighters and do the business sparring, haven't we? So, mm -hmm. so you, you, and you're working with him every day. So I'm looking forward to to Yui's fight actually, and I, and I want to see him. I want to see him rematch Pulev as well, and Povetkin and Parker. And I think them fights can be rematched as well. Do you know down the line? Yeah, yeah. I, I think they can. I think that they could get them, and who knows? Maybe they might even get Parker as a as a, as a pay per view because he, he brings New Zealand TV, doesn't he? So yeah. I still think you is in mix, and he's twenty five as well, and he's got a lot of experience. Which we spoke about that in, in interview with him yesterday. But I'm really pleased, I'm really pleased for him, and I bet you are as well, aren't you? Yeah, I am. And he soaks yeah. it up like a sponge, Savannah, doesn't he? Yeah, what he he's does. told you both do don't you you do you so you take everything in and, and i'm really pleased for him and I, I still think there's a world title in you i think he's got to be matched correctly it's got to be at the right time but he's got plenty of time anyway Annie tyson's 32 in august you he's 25 he's got plenty of time no plenty of time and you both have i mean you'll get this world title in april at newcastle you'll not want to let it go <laughs> You, yeah, no. You'll want to no. defend it, but you can defend that while you're doing other things at Super Middle, can't you? Yeah, yeah. You can have best of both worlds. Plus, you might be able to push with the WBO to get a Super Middleweight shot at WBO because you, you, you're well in with them, if you know what I mean, after you've won belt. Does that sound uh, about right? Yeah. That, yeah. Obviously, so I think you'll be alright and obviously he's got your opportunity, Eddie, and so well done to him. Um, but I'm glad for you. And obviously yeah, you seem a bit much. perkier than you were, don't you? Yeah, definitely. So it's not like a world title like Mantelpieces, the Savannah. <laughs> so, all, all right then, well listen, it's been nice speaking to you. Uh, yeah, I'll get this really. out next week and uh, you'll keep on trucking and keep sporting boxing. <laughs> <laughs> and right, you'll take care and give me best to your friend Chantel.
Alright then. Bye Take bye. care, bye-bye. Bye. Bye. That was uh well, that was Chantel Cameron. Sorry, sorry Chantel. That was Savannah Marshall. Uh she's a lovely lass, Savannah, you know. You'd be proud to have her as as a friend or a daughter or she's lovely. She doesn't say much, she's very quiet. But uh, she knows her boxing and I think Yui she's touched there on Yui's style. They've done brilliant, what they what they're doing brilliant with him. I, I think uh it's gonna shock a few people. Yeah, and I hope so as well, because like I've just said, Yui gets a lot of stick online and he doesn't deserve it. You know. It is it is frustrating when you're watching something that you know and they're just not they've got all the ability in will, but on the day sometimes they don't do it. And then other days they do, but I think he's turned corner now, so I think people should give his dad some credit. They won't do, but I hope they do. Because when you've had bad luck and you've lost fights, it's hard to keep coming back, isn't it? Parker fight, they were robbed. Poole left, he got a bad cut in the second round. The bad cut from the previous month sparring. That opened up. And the Povetkin fight, I thought he got all manned out of that. I thought that fight would have been better now rather than then. And boxing's about timing. But people should get behind. People should get behind Yui. And uh, and back him up because he's doing really well. He's doing really, really well. And when you're going into camp and you're doing sessions every day, it's exhausting and aching. And last thing you want is some cheeky chap like me sticking a camera in your face. Saying, so, "How's the training going, you? Are you all right? I noticed you've got a new style. Oh, Yui, could you just do a bit of this? It made a bit of shadow boxing, so I can get a, some good filming." You don't want that, do they? You pull that when you're a world ranked fighter. You, you pull and dragged about all over the place and that. And it's not nice. It's not nice. So get time here. I'm gonna have to get off. But. Uh, But yeah, it's uh, it's all good, positive stuff. Look at these here messing about here, putting tire, it's tire stuff. I never have that on a winter, you know. Why, why is sand there in queue? Like this bloke's doing here now, having tire. Because as soon as you get down the road one mile, it's all dirty again, isn't it? I'm not bothering me up like that. Hey mate, no, it doesn't matter mate, here. Yeah, you don't bother with that mate, you've worked hard enough. Cheers mate. Plus I don't like people rubbing car down, you know, because sometimes they're not, you know, badge on front and turn it, because they don't do them badges now on these. That one up on it. I have been on that other car, well, that E-Class, didn't I? You can't, they've stopped doing them now. I think they stopped doing them, did they, on a 12 plate? I'm not sure, so don't quote me on that, but when I went at Mercedes the other day, getting some rake pads, they had a... Uh, old Mercedes there, they just had like a flat thing, you know, on bonnet. So I had that especially done that. I'll go the other way, what's he doing here? Alright mate. Yeah. I'm not bothered about that mate. Hey? I think it's very better for you. What do you want to do? Rub it down, yeah? Put in the wax, you know, wax inside. Alright then, okay, okay. Can be it off. Fucking day, man. I don't like them rubbing my car like, I don't like anybody touching it to be honest. <sighs> What's going on about I'm covered in wax or something? What does that mean? Covered in wax? What's he going on about? What are you putting on my car mate? What are you doing to me? Alright mate. Oh yeah, okay, yeah. Alright then. Hard working lads, you lads. Hard worker. Don't open boot though, I've got yeah. something in boot I don't want you to see. Oh, Alright mate. <laughs> <laughs> you know don't you? Don't open that boot. It's the kilos. No, kilos. no, yeah, yeah, <laughs> go man, go. You open my boot.
yeah, uh, Chief Kevin is just having a bit of a laugh there. It's, uh, we've got some wagon wheels in boot. We can't be sharing wagon wheels with anyone, can we? <laughs> But uh, but yeah, I enjoyed that chat with Savannah. She's a, she's a, she's a hard interview, I think, Savannah, because she's quiet, isn't she? But if you get to know her, she's a good laugh. But she spoke clearly today, and I'm I'm impressed. And Yui spoke very. I can explain it yesterday. I don't know. He spoke assertively. Didn't want to dwell on past and that. And, He's got experience, he's got experience, and in our UA. And I'm pleased for him. See what I mean about my badge? Oh, cheers, mate. Thank you very much. Cheers, mate. Cheers. <laughs> now that you've told everybody I've got kilos in my boot, you'll get me locked up. I'm not over this way, are not I? Can't have people rooting about in your boot, can you? But, uh, but yeah, it's all good, isn't it? It's all good positive stuff. It's all good positive stuff. So peace out, keep on trucking, keep supporting Bosch Chat, uh, keep supporting boxing. Hashtag levels. And don't forget to get behind you with Fury on his fight in March. First week in March, 7th of March I believe. Uh, get behind him, because you is coming. You is coming. For all them heavyweights out there, and I've seen it. I've seen him sparring. You're only going to see little clips of it, what he's teaching him now. People can say, oh, Porky, you're just saying it because you mates with Peter Fury. Look, if I've got something to say, I'll say it. Peter doesn't have yes men around him, let me tell you. It's not the dumb thing for, the, for them people. They ask you your opinion and, 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 you, and you'll, you'll give it. So don't think that... Yui isn't world ranked or world level because he's a world ranked fighter. Everybody had him beating Parker who had a world title. So that means Yui Fury is the unofficial WWE world champion, doesn't it? Well, am I right? He's the unofficial world champion at WWE, but he just didn't get the nod on the night, did he? So that's unfinished business with him and Parker, and they'll meet again. The young lads, they'll meet again. Yui and Parker will meet again. All right. They'll meet again, trust me. He'll fight Povetkin again, and he'll beat him on points to take him to school. And the other one, Pula, Yui knocks him out. Now that I've seen his style, so. All right, so peace out. Keep on trucking, keep supporting boxing, get behind Yui and Savannah Marshall. Just because they're quiet, and they don't go to all after parties and hanging with all right people. Don't mean to say they can't fight. You is multi skilled and Savannah punches harder than men. Savannah punches harder than some light middleweight boxers who are men, let me tell you. And if you don't believe me that Savannah Marshall can't punch, or that Yui Fury can't punch, go and ask Robin Reed. Because he says Yui is a venomous puncher. But the style that he had before. Everybody were, everybody were, they're not looking at that punching, were they? Well, they're going to see something different now. They're going to see Yui Fury totally different. So, all right. So when it happens, you can say to me, Porky, you were right! Instead of saying, Porky, you were wrong. Yui Fury is coming after the world title belts. So get ready. He's putting them all on notice. All right, peace out. Well, that's it for today, so I'm going to bring this documentary regarding Yui Fury, Savannah and Peter Fury to an end. I hope you've all enjoyed it, we've edited it best we can and tried to jazz it up and we've cut bits out that we didn't want in there. 
so other than that I'm all right so I hope everybody's enjoyed it get behind Yui, Yui Fury's career now and Savannah Marshall's career because it's going to be at the business end now Yui's coming after all top heavyweights now he's got a new style and he's going to shock a few people so get behind him he's a fantastic fighter and get behind Savannah Marshall she's a fantastic fighter as well and if you don't believe me that they both punch hard go and ask Robin Reed all right he's done, took them up pads both venomous punchers all right so peace out keep on trucking keep sporting boxing shout out to innovation alloys and syps limited rotherham all right <laughs> you like that one didn't you right first of all I just want to say thank you very much for liking and subscribing. It means a lot to me because uh, we're on this journey together, aren't we? So, anybody got any ideas for the channel? Fire them over to me, porkycorner at mail.com. All right. Shout out to Innovation Alloys and South Yorkshire Packaging. All right. Don't forget to subscribe. Keep on trucking.